while Tinubu is under fire for using the dead bodies of national heroes to play policies. A special advisor to President Bola Metinubu on information and strategy, Bayo Ononoga, has said it will be the first time in 10 years that a Nigerian president has paid homage to soldiers who died in service. And people are saying it's using this whole thing to play policies because people are now saying, is this an achievement? Because they said that Buhari never attended. So is this an achievement or what or development? What has that got to do? He attended, he attended. Why is it that Tinubu has not been going to visit the victims of uh, the people that the bandits have been terrorizing all this while? So he attended. So is that a, is that an achievement? Legitus NG reports that President Tinubu attended the burial of the Nigerian army personnel killed in action at Okoma Community Delta State at the National Military Cemetery, Abuja. Ononoga indirectly aimed a jab at the administration of Muhammad Buhari, saying two other burials in 2021 and 2018 were not graced by the incumbent. Now, some people are saying it is not, uh, he's not using it as politics. Is it not politics? What has that got to do? People are more, you are talking about he attended. What of the suffering that he has uh, 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 put people into or drove people into? Has he talked about that? And he quoted the particular day, a uh, particular year. Okay. By no longer the special advisor on information and strategy said it has come under criticism for has come under criticism for its latest social media posts on the Okuma incident, providing an update via his verified Twitter account and about his principal's imminent uh, uh, attendance of the national barrier of the Nigerian military officers killed on March 14 by some gunmen in Okuma data states on another reference to past funerals. The president it said the past burial ceremonies were not graced by the incumbent Nigeria leader. The former news agency of Nigeria managing director used the eh, past events to justify his stance that Tinumbu case. However, this did not sit well with many ex-users. On Onuga route, it is confirmed that President Tinumbu will be attending the national burial for the Nigerian military officers and soldiers killed on 14th of March by some gunmen in Okoma community, Delta State. It is the first time in the last 10 years that a Nigeria president will attend such solemn event in honor of our men of gallantry and valor. Two other barriers in 2021 and 2018 were not graced by the incumbent. We told you then that Tinubu cares. He is demonstrating it yet again. What? Why is it that he didn't go to play too? This uh, incident happened Christmas time, but all the governors went to Lagos to go and see Tinubu for Christmas. I don't understand. Tinubu did not go there. He did he care? This uh, incident that happened about about two or three incidents that happened this year. Did he go there? So who told he cares? Exactly. Why would people not say that he's using this whole thing as policies? What as, if he attended, what is the big deal about it? They should have told us that it's the first person who is occupying Oku Aso Rock. Before, before you know, this is the propaganda these guys always say, eh, 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 push out. The next thing they will tell you that it is Zinubu that built Nigeria. Following... <laughs> Following the backlash, Ononoga edited his tweets and removed the part where he, he uh, indirectly aimed at dig at former president Muhammad Buhari. And all of them are the same, the same, the same party. When Buhari was there, all of them were hailing Buhari. They couldn't say anything. They knew Buhari was doing the wrong thing. The same way Tinubu is doing the wrong, a lot of wrong things. They will not say anything. By the time he leaves, they will begin to tell you all manner of nonsense story. It is disgraceful to exploit the death of funerals of military personnel for petty political attack against other parties. Hmm. Consider sir, the true intent behind the latest, uh, the last paragraph of this statement. Why not simply say that the president is attending the final farewell of the fallen heroes and end it with a period? It is surprising that you overlooked mentioning Peter Obi in the statement. Okay, oh yes, no, because if they never mention Obi, they are body, no, the rest. 
It is disgraceful to exploit the death and funeral of military personnel. Yes, that is it. They just they talk, they do like people who don't get sense. It is acceptable for the president to express sympathy for the fallen soldiers, but attempting to politicize every action of the president, including the attending burial site of the fallen heroes, is not even in line with Bolatin Umbu style. Can you imagine? Hmm. Mm. This old man, everything is not politics. The buy in you is so acidic. The soldiers ambushed and massacred by bandits in the north. How many of their burial did he attend? Please stop. Uh, it is this. Uh, it is his pledge to honor the heroes past. It is not a special action. After Tinubu is trying to impress the military so that they don't stage coup. See country where Una did die for. When Super Eagle go play, but come back. Now money and house, but soldiers now casket be Una. I even hear that Eddie he has given scholarship to the children of uh, the soldiers. Mm. That is if they will fulfill it too. Nigeria with bad math as a commander in chief. It is not true. Why did he not go and remove it? Why did they not go and remove that, uh, that last statement? By your the madman. Hmm. The fool don't know that falling to protect the lives of the soldiers is a crime to the government. So attending barrier has now turned to achievement for the O eleven months that Tinubu take charge. Can he mention only one achievement? Everything is political in politics in Nigeria. Why? Well the soldiers not equally playing policies in their uniform. So that is now an achievement of Tinumbu led government. Abio, if you ask me, now who I go call ask the bio and his principal are badly in need of political points. It doesn't even matter how cheap those points are or at who's Perry in the hope of getting some legitimate recognition but i don't even i doubt if they ever will but it is true everything about governance is policies sometimes buhari may not even know of such deaths and barriers you should have waited for security reasons for the events to come and pass before making political uh, statements it's unfortunate